this question, we've got somebody kicking a ball off the top of a cliff, and we're told that the height is given by this formula, 12t minus 5t squared, where t measures the number of seconds after the ball is kicked. In part A, we're asked to calculate the height of the ball above the cliff top after two seconds. So let's uh, start that and we'll say therefore when t equals 2, that would be 2 seconds after the ball is kicked, the height will be 12 times t, that's 12 times 2, minus 5 times t squared, that's 2 squared. So calculating that's 24. 5 times 2 squared is 4, 5 fours are 20. So we have 24 minus 20, which gives us 4. And how is the height measured? It's measured in metres. So 4 metres is the height after 2 seconds. So that's part A. Let's have a look at part B. There's a graph representing the ball being kicked. The guy's at the top of the cliff and the time is measured along the t-axis here. And this shows the height of the ball as t increases. And we can see down here, this is when the ball hits the sea at a height of negative 17 metres. That's 17 metres below the top of the cliff. And it's asking how many seconds. In other words, we're trying to find t in this case. In part a, we were given a value of t. We had to find h. We're doing the opposite. Uh, we're given h. h would be negative 17. And we're asked to find t. That's the... this value here. So given h, we've now defined t. So let's have a look at uh, the formula. Remember h was equal to 12t minus 5t squared. So in this case we know that h is equal to 17, negative 17 we have to find t. So we've got negative 17 is equal to 12t minus 5t squared. Now this is shaping up to uh, be a quadratic equation. Well, it is a quadratic e equation. So we'll add 5t squared to both sides. So a 5t squared will appear with this minus 17 on the left. And let's subtract 12t from both sides. So we now on the left have 5t squared, and there's your negative 12t minus 17, and that equals 0. Now, the way we usually solve quadratic equations, we first of all attempt to see if they factorise. If not, then we would drag in the quadratic formula unlikely in paper 1 without a calculator to be the quadratic formula. So I would suspect that this does factorise. So the first term in each of these brackets, when they multiply, it gives us 5t squared. So there's only one choice. It has to be 5t times t. Now if we look at the last two terms, the last term in each of the two brackets, this number times this number has to give us 17. Well, the only choices are 1 times 17. And let's try 17 here, 1 here. And at this stage we're looking at the outside two terms and the inside two terms. If we multiply the outside two terms we get 5t. If we multiply the inside two terms we get 17t. And we're attempting to combine these in some way to get this middle term, negative 12t. You can see that if we take 5t and subtract 17t, we'd end up with negative 12t. So this is telling us that uh, the 5t, the 1 times the 5t, has to be positive, and the 17t 
as to be negative. So we've got 5t minus 17, t plus 1 as the two factors. So we've ended up with the position where we've got something times something gives us 0. So one or other of these two brackets must be 0. So either 5t minus 17 will equal 0 or t plus 1 equals 0. Now in the case of t plus 1 being 0, we take 1 from both sides, t would equal negative 1, and we're getting a time before the ball was kicked. So t we know is greater than 0, so this solution is not valid. We'd have to state why we're not considering this as a valid solution. It's, certainly it's before the ball was even kicked. So back to this is the only relevant solution. If we add 17 to both sides, 5t equals 17, and then divide both sides by 5, t would equal 17 over 5. Now that's 34 over 10, which is 3.4 seconds. Or three and two fifths. So how many seconds, after how many seconds will the ball hit the sea after 3.4 seconds? It may well be worth your while just clearing the uh, the confusion if there was any and you're working just to say so after 3.4 seconds ball hits the sea and there's no doubt what you mean by that answer that's mr corsey signing out hope you enjoyed the video